Hey everybody, welcome back to Reaction Reviews. It's been a while. Uh, lately we've been doing a lot of the light side music reactions, uh, but uh, one of the last things we did uh, for Reaction Reviews this season was uh, we looked at the last uh, few episodes of Young Sheldon, and I did full-length responses, uh, reactions, to the full episodes. And so um, in the end of one of those, I told you that uh, the new spinoff se uh, series, Georgie and Mandy's First Marriage, was going to be coming out this fall, and that I would react to the trailer. Well, the trailer was just dropped on September 13th, so we're going to check it out today. This is the exclusive first look at the trailer for Georgie and Mandy's First Marriage, and it premieres October 17th on CBS. So let's go ahead and check it out. And here we go. I appreciate you and Dot taking us in. I am so glad that you and CC are here. And Georgie. Hope you are hungry. Nice of the kid to make breakfast. She's so happy you're back and you're getting along. Okay, so Mandy's family's all there. All right, it's crazy. Put the baby down. Let's there's no one. You want to fool around? Y'all left this on the coffee table. <laughs> Slipping in little comments that can be real hurtful. Name one. Oh, let's not go name things. <laughs> How about saying that Cece might be dumb like her dad? She said that. She said that. I never said that. I'm walking away. <laughs> Georgie and Mandy's first marriage. I like it when people underestimate me. Gives me an edge. Premieres Thursday, October 17th, part of CBS Premiere Week and streaming on Paramount Plus. All right. So that's it. Uh, the official trailer. For Georgie and Mandy's first marriage. This looks like it's going to be fun. Um, of course, uh, we all love the Big Bang Theory. Um, it, it presented, uh, of course, Chuck Lorre, you know, the creator. Um, I have a lot of differences with him when it gets into his politics and his, uh, his thoughts on religion and stuff like that. But I tell you what, uh, the way that he, he writes characters is hilarious sometimes. And uh, so, uh, you know, we, we fell in love with the characters that he created for us in The Big Bang Theory, which when they came out with the spinoff series Young Sheldon, of course, we fell in love with those characters, with his family. And uh, it was really cool to see the dynamics between the different family members about how they were all different. It was the same thing with the characters in The Big Bang Theory. Um, most of them had, the, well, they all actually had their own little quirks in their own little ways, uh, but they were different quirks. And they were all different from each other. There was no two characters that were alike. And it was the same thing with uh, young Sheldon. Is uh, These characters, uh, some of them were just as different as night and day. Uh, like, uh, um, uh, well, I'm not going to waste time and go into examples. I mean, if you've seen the series, you know. Uh, if you haven't, uh, go back and uh, I encourage you to go back and watch the entire uh, seven season series of young Sheldon. Um, it's just fantastic. There were some episodes that were just absolute genius. Uh, there was a season two episode, which I think is my favorite of the entire series, uh, in which uh, there's a, and I talk about this in my uh, reactions uh, a few episodes ago in uh, 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 reaction reviews, where I talk about um, the episode where uh, there was a death in the community, and it was uh, it, it had a big influence on Mary, Sheldon's mother, and uh, she had a crisis of faith, and Sheldon came to the rescue. I, I'm getting emotional just thinking about it now, remembering that episode. That's it, It's just uh, so brilliant, the way it was written. And then uh, the final season with uh, the, the cliffhangers of the last three or four episodes, and uh, if, those, if you haven't seen it, I'm not going to give spoilers on this particular video. Uh, just in case you haven't seen it and you do want to go back and watch them. But uh, the last uh, couple episodes were just fantastic. Uh, and the, the finale, um, it was great in its own way. I mean, it, it had me so angry and sitting on the edge of my seat yelling at the screen. It's like, no, no, no. It's like, come on, this isn't the way it works. And uh, But uh, that, that's the way that the characters would have reacted. And it just uh, it just goes to show that sometimes... Uh, you can live, uh, uh, well, you, you can witness characters in a story making mistakes 
and you can learn from their mistakes. And I was, you know, watching that finale uh, all all the way through, saying, you know what, these people are making a mistake, and they just don't realize they're doing it, and it's going to be a mistake that has consequences for the next generation for years and years and years. And sure enough, it did, as we see in Sheldon's development of his character in The Big Bang Theory. But anyway, um, that is uh, one of the great things about episodes like that is for us watching it, uh, we can hopefully learn from those mistakes. And uh, so even though it's bad examples, maybe even written from the perspective of a uh, showrunner or a show writer that doesn't understand the situation, and so the characters don't understand it either. But um, as we you know, react to it and, and analyze it, uh, we can learn from those mistakes and hopefully we don't make the same ones. Uh, but anyway, um, beyond all that, uh, this new series, so far, it doesn't show any of Sheldon's family, any of uh, Georgie's side of the family. So far, from what we see in the trailer, it's all focusing on Mandy and her parents and Georgie and the baby. So, where, as young Sheldon, uh, as it pertained to Georgie and Mandy, uh, the last few seasons, it focused mostly on their relationship with uh, Georgie's side of the family. Um, I imagine that this series is going to focus more on uh, Mandy's side of the family, and they may have cameos uh, from the rest of the family, um, you know, throughout the series as well, just like they did in young Sheldon. They had cameos from and recurring cameos from uh, Mandy's side of the family. And they're going to do the opposite in this series, it looks like, uh, with cameos from uh, our beloved characters from uh, young Sheldon. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of uh, Chuck Lorre's politics and his views on religion. Um, but I am a huge fan of the way that he writes characters. And uh, so I imagine uh, we're going to really have a good series ahead of us as we watch uh, Georgie and Mandy's first marriage on CBS uh, starting October 17th on CBS. Uh, are you guys going to be watching it? Uh, comment down below. Let me know. Uh, what are some of the things that you're looking for in this series that you're hoping for? And uh, do you think it's going to be good? Do you think it's going to be as good as or better than Young Sheldon or The Big Bang Theory? Um I, don't, I honestly don't know. Um, you know, it's going to be hard to top the the way that uh, we fell in love with those characters. But uh, same showrunners, same writers. Um, I think they might be able to do it. So uh, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you think. And, uh, of course, uh, come back here tomorrow and we'll have some more uh, The Light Side music reactions throughout the rest of the week. And on the weekend, uh, on Sunday afternoon, we'll have a new episode of Muck Club, uh, where we do typically a live stream at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, and sometimes it's a pre-recorded video, but we go live or go online with a pre-recorded video, one of the two, uh, every Sunday, pretty much, at 2 p.m. in the afternoon, approximately. So um, if you want to be part of that, uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and turn on notifications, and then uh, when we do go live, it'll let you know, it'll give you a heads up. And you can come over and join us in the live chat. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great day and a great week. Bye, everybody.